all, I want to greet you all. This is our little like TV show. We hope that you will all enjoy this very much. We have prepared some questions and their responses are right over here uh, that you can see. And we will check all of them and see what the other students from other countries think about it and also from our country too. So question number three is, what addiction or substance are you most concerned about? Select all that apply. So we can see that tobacco was the first chosen. 101 people chose this option. So I want to ask you, what do you think about that being the most chosen option? Well, this statistics makes uh, a lot of sense actually because uh, children would uh, be most uh, we're most informed about tobacco because a lot of people, unfortunately, a lot of people in the world uh, use it. And that goes basically for alcohol as well, since uh, children are a lot more, uh, have a lot more familiar. Children are a lot more familiar with these uh, substances, so they are more concerned about them. Okay, now what do you think about tobacco being the most chosen option? She don't speak English. No, I'm joking. Okay. What she do speak you speak Romanian and Marian will translate. It's okay. Maybe. Uh, do you want to say what do you think? Are you unsure? Okay, uh, does anybody of, of you want to say something about this? Really? No one. Why? You don't know what to say. Well, do you think? Do, uh, do you think? Are you concerned about alcohol being? You can see. Uh, uh, you can uh, talk on your language and teacher will uh, translate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's not an to be this, and alcohol is the most, I don't think it's going for that, because people are, have lots of responsibilities, families, or their friends, or their teachers, or their friends, and I don't think that this is the real life of the So are you concerned about people being I'm not surprised. She isn't even surprised anymore. Yeah, she isn't even surprised. There's a lot of things going on in this world and I agree about it completely. Okay, uh, so we will move on to the next question. Do you drink alcohol or use cigarettes? First of all, I'm very surprised that there are uh, people who chose yes because all of, like, children did this quiz. It's very, like, why would children choose yes? So, I want to ask you, Pavla, over here, are you surprised that children chose yes for this option? Are you, are you even surprised anymore? I am not uh, that very surprised because uh, in school I see kids uh, smoke uh, cigarettes and electric cigarettes so that's not really a surprise for me but that many answers for yes that is surprise. I think that it will be a less than 5% but this is a little bit, maybe too much. Uh, what do you think about this? Uh, like, are you surprised about this? And uh, do, would you want? How would you? Uh, how would you want to change a children's mind about this? Because I see too a lot of uh, kids in school drinking uh, like alcohol or smoking vape or something like that. Do you think you could change that? Do you think? Unfortunately, no. The answer is no. Uh, but I'm not surprised about uh, kids doing such a thing, like cigarettes and alcohol. Uh, we can see uh, kids use cigarettes, but uh, alcohol is like uh, more of a uh, home thing. Psychoactive substances are available in our school. So, can you show, the can you show us how, how many people said yes to this? Yes. 
can I show a statistics? Can I see how much people? Oh, free. Uh, I know that these three people. Yeah, it's true. Um, and yeah, it's not a really surprise. It wouldn't be a surprise for me. It was like ten or twenty people. I person. I think about uh, cigarettes, electric and waves. So yeah. Uh, now I would say this statistic is probably true, but it is very frightening and it's very scary because uh, drugs and alcohol, drugs and yeah, alcohol can be used or these people use them for self confidence, but they can really easily be turned into full blown addictions and uh, overcome those people, those kids technically, and they can be a real burden on those kids and their parents and basically every, every other person around them. The, uh, so now, would you please say something about this? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like um, these three people uh, answer the questions ra randomly and just the Choose the one they 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 they, they live in, uh, read the the question yes that's what I think because it's a very serious uh, topic yes. I think it should be a joke because drugs can't make a self confidence. It will destroy a self confidence for a people. Do any of you want to say anything? You really don't have comments. Do you want to say something? Um, for me, um, for me, it's joke. <laughs> I feel like everyone should be confident about what they look like, what they are like, and they shouldn't change for anything or anyone. So, I I think people who said yes were honest, but the fact that it was kids is just really frightening and terrifying, especially. So now let's move on to the next question. Uh, is there any drug abuse among school-going children in your school? Okay, so how many people did say yes? Uh, 21 people said yes. Okay. Do you want to say something? You do. Actually, they don't have to want to say it. No, I'm not scared. I just don't have an opinion about this question. Uh, how about you? Do you want to say something? You can speak in Romanian too. Just like. <laughs> now here we can see in this question we move away from drugs and alcohol and we actually get to the amount of time we spend online. Now this particular question shows the statistic of schoolwork that suffered because of the amount, because of the time spent uh, online. And 38.3% uh, said non-applicable. Now I think this is very interesting since those people are probably either lying or decided not to uh, not to see the truth because they are either scared of it or uh, simply don't want to um, don't want to say anything. 64 people. That is a huge number, and that is uh, a bit concerning actually because. Um, Although three people said it always affects their schoolwork, which is quite bad. Uh, I think parents should always like tell their children to stop using their devices. They should have like uh, they should they shouldn't be like on online a lot because as you can see. It can change your mental health, it can change your schoolwork, like it can make uh, you and your schoolwork and your life suffer because of it. Even though uh, having internet is amazing, it can always affect you in bad ways too. Now, uh, do you, do you uh, sometimes uh, go online? Uh, does, has any, uh, your mobile device 
device or any other device has it affected your school or personally or your grades? Never. Never because I don't use online things very much. Uh, I have my phone just two days a week and it's the end of the week and I have school at the end of the week so I can't look at my phone that's not. And I think the, this amount sound really big for us. The time goes away. You can't take the time back. And my time is really rare for me. I must study because when I go away and look back, I must be proud of myself. That's some strong self-control right there. Thank you. You're amazing. There should be everyone's here or right here. <laughs> okay. What do you do it? Uh, I... I never, um, so, uh, my school work has never suffered uh, because of uh, because of the amount I spend online. Uh, because I always have to first finish my homework and then I will open my phone or my tablet. But I think um, the people that say they never, um, they, that never happen, um, I feel like most of them are lying. So you guys really have some self-control. That's amazing. Okay. Uh, my question for uh, the the girl who said uh, that when she wants to look back and she wants to be proud. Uh, my question is, why wouldn't you be proud if you made some achievement online, like had a had a friend or? Play the long game with someone and you actually won. <laughs> exactly, it's a hard question because I had my goals when I was 14. I want my brain surgery and it's not uh, easy to be a brain surgery. And I must take my time brain. I can't spend my time just another day. When I met, when I spent my time today, I will spend it to tomorrow or anything else like that. I want to study more. I'm most proud of myself because I want to have self-confidence. And the drugs can't be given self-confidence, but our classes and our lessons can too, because when you look back, away, as I said, you must be proud. You mustn't be in an addition like unhappy things. Well, thank you for that. That was really interesting since uh, that is a whole new perspective. And I would say congratulations because... Uh... <laughs> okay, I want to talk about uh, question number 15. Uh, yeah. Personally, uh, I think because I see that only three people said that uh, their, that they, their grades suffered because of the uh, mobiles and uh, devices. I think that it's a lie. There are a lot of more. Personally, in my class, there is, I know uh, people, I know uh, kids, my friends, uh, and their grades suffered from online, oh, really. And yeah. I completely agree because uh, you want to invest in your life. Virtual life is not the same as real life because in virtual life you can win, you can build whatever you want, I don't know, like games, but in real life you have to work to achieve something and you cannot achieve anything if you don't work from the start and um, go level up and level up slowly until you reach the top of your life, until you, until you reach your goal. So now we're going to move on to the next question. Have you ever feared that life without the internet would be boring, empty, and joyless? Um, I think you, the answer is probably no, because a uh, lot of generations before us uh, had lived that life. Uh, it's like uh, to have internet and uh, Mobile devices is really cool, but uh, the answer is no. 
we can live a life uh, with full of enjoyment and uh, it, go, it, die, it isn't boring. Uh, yeah. um, first, uh, my parents, and I think parents of every child in this room, uh, hadn't, uh, had lived the life without the devices and they grow up without the devices and we grow up with that and that is like the something in our life. We can't uh, live without it because we grew with it and our parents uh, didn't hear that and they just, uh, they, they can live without it because it is it. It isn't something for them that is uh, important in our life. We use that all day because everyone, oh, everyone around us use it. If I ask you to play football with me, would you rather play football with me or play your football in as a video game? Uh, oh, with you. Oh, okay. Oh, that's one. Uh, does any one of you have any comments on uh, this this particular question? Does someone from the crowd want to say anything about this? Uh, about question 16, have you uh, ever feared that the life without the internet would be boring and the enjoyers? Question for internet. We are having lots of fun with internet and we are not notice it. When we not notice it, we will be... We will have our, our time and spend our time watching internet. So it can be a little bit boring sometimes, but when we give information to internet, it will be funny sometimes. Thank you. Okay, next question. Have you ever found yourself saying just a few more minutes when online? So 22 uh, people said always. I think that is really concerning because being too much online, like I said, can really affect your mental health, your life, your schoolwork, anything. And even though uh, many people said always, there are still people who have self-control, like this girl right here. Congratulations to you, really. Um, even I found myself saying it just a few more minutes personally, and I'm going to be completely honest with this. Um, rarely 29, occasionally 46 people, frequently 16, and uh, like I said, 38 often. So, uh, does anyone else from the crowd want to say anything about this? No one? Do you want to say something? About the last one? Yes. This one. Please come up to the stage for us. Thank you. <laughs> Well, uh, for me personally, sometimes, yes, uh, I try to have a little more self-control, but sometimes it doesn't really go quite, uh, quite how I imagined it. Of course, uh, there are times when I feel more like, more like doing someone, something else than, uh, than doing homework or something. Uh, I have to say, um, most of the people say occasionally because I think that's the true. Most of the people say occasionally, but um, I'm really sad about the people that say always because that uh, won't help them at uh, anything. They will be, they will suffer at schoolwork and all of these things. But I think some of the people that say never uh, align. I agree. Are you sure you want to say something? Yeah, yeah of course I want to say. Um, personally, I, uh, especially when I'm studying, I see myself uh, saying uh, to myself just a few more minutes on the internet. And I think it's a problem personally, but uh, I think everybody had found themselves in this situation. Uh, I'm uh, I'm playing 
games or uh, watching videos. I'm looking at the uh, uh, clock. It's eight o'clock. Or uh, yeah, it's it's a big problem for me, and uh, it's very late for I'm I can I can't do home, my homeworks, uh, and I can't sleep uh, early. Uh, internet is such a thing. Uh, when you are going to be online in internet, uh, you can play games, you can watch videos, and. Uh, you can't say just stop. Uh, you are watching it, you are enjoying it, you want to watch more, you want to play more. And uh, you can't just say stop. You can't control yourself uh, every time. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, honest. Uh, I'm not, I can't control myself uh, very good like the Dennis. Uh, but um, sometimes, like uh, Sila, I, I have homeworks, I forgot them. Uh, I'm, playing games or watch videos or talk with my friends, uh, it's a really big problem. Uh, usually people say it uh, always, uh, for the, usually people say it uh, always, it's a really big problem for us. Uh, we can't, we can't uh, say stop, uh, we should, we should say stop. <laughs> I'm excited, sorry for that, <laughs> that's okay. Thank you. Good, bravo. Thank you. As you said, a uh, few more minutes on game addiction, which is a really big problem, but it just went normal. The next question. The next one. We do it unconsciously, to be honest. Okay, you read the next question, please, Alex. Uh, I argue with my parents when they ask me to stop using my device. Uh, now, uh, this is a really, uh, uh, this is a really big question, and there's a lot of answers. And I mean, a lot of people said no. Like, almost sixty percent of people said no, which uh, some might. Uh, we might have took this question uh, a bit differently. They might have uh, not thought that uh, what they were doing was arguing or something like that. But that is a, a nice thing to see that 60% uh, of students aren't arguing with their parents, which is really great. It's uh, some light at the end of the tunnel. It's a really, really great statistic. Uh, now, nine people said yes. This uh, does concern me a little bit, but not too much, since I myself sometimes find uh, <laughs> uh, f find the reason to fight with my parents about uh, <clears throat> about my phone usage. Now, usually uh, this uh, happens to a lot of students, but not always. And I would like to hear if someone else has uh, the same problem or has uh, some thoughts on this uh, particular statistic. I think they are normal because they are not arguing with fairies. The people are similar now and they are a little bit more foolish than others. They are just, okay, okay, I'll agree. I'll agree. And they are not arguing with their friends. They are dancing, they are saying a lot to their people. And they are family, they are friends. And they are cutting. And they're cutting their time, and it will be better to them. I think it's like well, you can continue. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, I want to see about uh, this question. Uh, Sixty percent of people said no. Uh, I think it's. Okay, but I will rather say uh, it's uh, 40 percent, maybe 50. But uh, personally, for me, when my parents told me uh, to uh, shut my phone, 
to stop playing games or talk with someone, uh, I'll just stop. And even if I don't stop, uh, they have uh, control of my phone and with one click uh, they can just shut down. And I can do anything. So yeah, I just, uh, yeah, it's okay when they told me, uh, I shut it down because I know where uh, my dad had some time we together play uh, games. So yeah. <laughs> So you find yourself arguing with your parents about uh, asking you to stop the using device? Uh, no, never. <laughs> so they just go with one click. So they just turn your device off? They, could, they can turn off my device if I uh, start complaining about but yeah, they can do whenever, even with my sisters. So yeah, that's it for the questions. Who is the? Is that it? Do you have something to say about this topic? Do you argue with your parents about your phone usage? Really, never. Why though? Why though? Um, I'm so proud of that as a person who has been living in my life. I'm so proud of that. 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 Okay. Well, actually, I'm pretty surprised because I find. I actually thought that more people would say yes to this because kids these days don't really have like control. No, actually parents don't have a good control over their children, so I thought it would be different, but I'm glad that most people said no. Next question. Do you believe that cigarettes, alcohol and drug addiction, addiction to bad habits is actually an addiction or is it just like um, unconscious thinking that it's an addiction? So 16 people only said no and all of the other people, which is 151, uh, said yes. So, do you guys have anything to say about this? Mm. How about you? Do you want to say something about this? Do you think that the drugs, alcohol, uh, that all is an addiction? Or what do you think it is? Um, all of this, all of the stuff has to be an addiction because um, all these people that use it um, are addicted to it. So. The people who say no are the are the people who are addicted to it. So you think people who said no are just saying no because they don't want to uh, sound like bad? Yeah. Exactly, I agree kind of with that. Uh, does anyone from the crowd want to say something? No? Okay. Do you want to say something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the last question, so does some teacher want to say something? Or students from other countries? Uh, yes? I think it's really clear to understand it, but because there's a proof that they are, when you drink it, one second, just once, just once you say, but it's being an addition or unreal habit and you can't break it down. And I think that and I drunk it is a really big problem and you can't stop the drug it yourself. So you can stop doing it yourself. You are really self control people and you are so strong for me. But you can't have anything any help from the others or Psychologist or anything else like that. No. Thank you, and I think you're really amazing. You have amazing self control, clever thinking. So I just want to give you an applause. Please, give her an applause. It's amazing. So that was actually the last question. We really do hope that you enjoyed this little quiz of ours and this little show, we like to call it. Uh, I want to thank everyone who wanted to participate in answering and giving their opinions uh, about these responses and I'm really glad that we had a great time. I personally really had a great time on this. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much.
Sí, 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 sí,